What's good my friends, we are back here once again for this another episode of Cub Reacts. It's been a good week, we've had some amazing videos drop, we've had uh, loads of good shows and uh, we're going to finish up this Sunday evening with a look at this, a brand new music video from an artist called Marissi. Now Marissi has been on Breakfast quite recently, he's a Brighton based um, producer slash uh, singer slash songwriter slash rapper, very much just out and out musician. So he's going to be um, today's feature, we're going to be looking at this one which goes um, by the name of West Baby, really cool tune this isn't the first time i've heard it but this is the first time seeing the video and it did drop on grm daily today massive shouts out to everyone who caught the uh, grm daily album review with myself and danny we're going to be doing a lot more of those probably do a few pre-recorded ones as well just to kind of mix things up a little bit but yeah keep it locked for more info on that one so without further ado let's get into this sounds of marissi with west baby uh, live now on grm daily let's go It's all self-produced, I believe. She's even cooler. He's on a horse. In a world of more division, no wisdom, too many isms. Corrupted systems are always full on us, the victims. With trust, because this is just the world that we live in. Not and much is no happening in the video yet, but it's powerful, man. Sin. You can either be a winner or you'll be a loser. I mean, that shot there, that's so cool. Like, the thing is, I've always found this. Whenever you see horses in music videos, they tend to, it tends to be quite a cool video um, in general. But yeah, so far, obviously, I know I've already heard the tune. Um, so it's not like the first time I've taken it in. Really, it still sounds just as good, though. The visual accompaniment to the tune is working really well because it's quite like a... It's a subtle tune, you know? It's not necessarily like an out-and-out -out, uh, skankers, but it's a tune you're going to hear and you're going to vibe to. You're going to enjoy. You're going to take in what he's talking about. And I think... Um, the video really reflects that so far. It's quite minimal. There isn't much movement going on. It's just kind of rolling. It's just kind of rolling along more than anything else. And I think overall, it's looking really, really nice. Really clean, really cleanly shot as well. I'm not trying to be a worm. I'm trying to be a rooster. Making new music on an old computer. Cause time keeps rushing. I'm wondering, will I get there? I rest barely and sometimes it gets scary. I have to remind myself. I, like, I always like that. In, 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 I even though it's like one of the most basic camera techniques as well. I really like it when um when, when you when you see people kind of walk towards the camera and, and end up in focus. I absolutely like there's something about it that just makes it look so cool. And again, I don't know where this is shot. I'm assuming it's shot around the outskirts of Brighton, um, or one of the many parks we have down here, most likely, because he is a Brighton based um artist. Um but but yeah, overall, Hello, in looking and wicked so Let's far. Let's go, small things make the biggest difference. And take it step by step and make it bigger and bigger until you get that chip. I'm still in the rat race. I haven't left where'd that you... yet, and I'll always have. Faith. Where'd you get the horse? That's what. That's where'd you get a horse for a music video? Do you hire it? Do you hire it? A... Where'd you get a horse? I... <laughs> I would love to know where you get a horse specifically for a music video because obviously you can go out like horse riding or whatever and you can pay for for the day but also um quite interesting he knows how to horse ride I don't know how to horse ride it's a pretty I'd call it quite an acute skill to have but yeah overall really sick <laughs> where did you get the horse in the west maybe maybe Africa but still I'm a I like the fact there's not thousands of different shots either there's only like two or three throughout the entire thing two juice and ganja Take me back to food, boom, blue, two fellas say blue in the alleyway with my dude root. Trying to find the next party a long time oh, before sure. Polo and Ed Hart. <laughs> It's very atmospheric, um, the video, in the way it's kind of put together. It's it's quite it's quite almost eerie in the way it's put together. It's literally just the shot of Marissi on the horse or Marissi um, in the woods, basically, barefoot, red shirt, just looking. It's just there's quite like an eerie feel to it. And I think that, re that really... Um, it really accompanies the sound of this one really, really well. There is a bit of an eerie, spacey feel to it. Um, at the time of day, it's shot as well. Obviously, it's early evening. Just everything about it is just kind of pleasing to look at, you know? Fortune and a couple big breast ladies Living in this Babylon and just want stability That's why I burn up and I do with synergy Oh <laughs> It's a weird shot Effectively I've got to say he, is, he has got the horse under very good control I don't know if Marissi did, went, used to do horse riding when he was younger but he's got a very good grasp of, um, of horse riding seemingly I know it's only a trot but it still like looks very 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 relaxed I'd be terrified 
There we go, at Marissi Music. Um, right then, this one, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. I'm a big, big fan of this one. Overall, really like the, um, the approach of it. I like the fact that it's been put together in a very kind of cinematic kind of way. The instrumentals, the instrumental for this one is probably my, uh, my favorite thing about it. It's very smooth, very melodic, got a real kind of, um, real kind of gritty undertone to the way it's been put together yet it's still very spacey um i like marissi's flows on this as well the subjects he's talking about he's going into a lot of kind of a a lot of the time it's quite nostalgic again when he came on breakfast he had a re- we had a really good chat about nostalgia and kind of like what what things that were happening when we were growing up and things like that and just overall i just really like the vibe of this one so there we go right then that's been my review of this one another episode of cub reacts done and yeah there we go thank you for watching my friends it's been youtube.com forward slash cub tv catch me in the morning for brecky in the cave it's going to be an amazing week make sure you hit that subscribe button by pressing the button down below as you can see and we will see you next time peace